All right, we got the Bouge RV dual zone fridge freezer combo. You can use this thing as a freezer and a freezer, fridge and a fridge, or a fridge and a freezer, just depending on how you want to set the thing up. You know, it has sides in it dividing the thing. We're going to go ahead and go over the specs, do some testing, and talk about what this thing is able to do for you and what you can use it for. Basically, they have a few different models. I have the Rocky 50, which is basically the 55 quart model. This is the second smallest one, I think. And, you know, just depending on your needs, you can go ahead and get whatever you want. And at least this version right here is going to be about 44.3 pounds. And, of course, that's going to be empty. Your dimensions on this thing is going to be about 28 inches by 17 by 18 inches. And, of course, it's a dual zone portable fridge. You can get up to 76 cans in this thing. And this thing will be good for, like, camping trips. If you do overlanding and stuff like that. Uh, just car road trips. Or any other activity, like if you're going to the beach or something, you want to keep your stuff cold. Bam, this thing's gonna be able to do it. And of course, this has a plug on it. You can plug it up to AC power. You can plug it up to your car for car power, or it has an optional battery, which I do have, and it can help the thing run anywhere from four to 10 hours, just depending on, you know, the situation that you're in. If it's in direct sunlight, if you got it on fridge only, or if you got it on fridge freezer, or, you know, the whole thing is a freezer. It has a stainless steel finish and it has a 664 pound weight bearing limit so you can sit on this thing stand on this thing multiple people can stand on this thing it's not going to get crushed you can put gear on top of it and it's definitely not going to be a problem this thing is solid and heavy duty and speaking about that optional battery it's 173 watt hours and of course like i said that'd be four to ten hours just depending on how it's being used. So let's say you're going on a road trip, you got it plugged up in your car and you got some kind of activity you wanna go do, you can take this thing out on the beach with you or whatever outdoor activity you're doing. If you're at a drag race or something like that, take it out with you. You know, it's gonna be able to run four to 10 hours, keep your stuff in there cold. And when you get back to the car and plug it in, it's gonna be able to charge at the same time as run. You know, so it's gonna have that pass through option and you can do everything you're gonna need it to do, charge, run. When you get to your next destination, the thing's gonna be charged up and you can do the same thing again. The input power from your AC is like 60 watts that this thing is gonna use. And not to mention, you can also put solar on this thing. So if you are out on your camping trip and you wanna plug up a solar panel to it, you're gonna be able to do that without a problem. And you're gonna be able to keep the thing charged up and running. And your solar is basically be able to take in 12 to 50 volts. So if you have a solar panel that's in that range and you have the correct, of course, adapter, bam, you're going to be able to hook this thing up and be good to go. And also, if you want to charge something off this thing, the thing has a couple of USB-A ports on it, so you'll be able to charge your devices back from the built-in battery. Or if you have it plugged in on your car and you just want to plug it into this, you know, because you need another USB-A port, this has it and has that option for you to use. Since this thing more than likely is going to be always using less than 100 watts whenever you're charging it, and running it. So basically what I've been doing with this thing for testing is when I was over there building the patio over there at my parents' house to put the solar panels on, the, the little uh, patio shelter, if you haven't seen that, you know, I'll link that video up above so you can go check it out. But basically I took this thing over there and I put ribeyes in this thing, waters, different kind of drinks for different kind of things going on. When I'm over there working and just events they had over there at their pool and out here in the 90 degree weather is good to go. Not having a problem with it at all. As you see, definitely a good looking unit. And as you can see, I got one side 36 degrees and 43 degrees. And as you can see at this point, the battery is already down to 10.6 volt. As you can see right here, like I said, I started this thing, it was probably about 7.30 in the morning. And now at 1.32, the battery is showing 10.1 uh, volts. I wasn't sure how long it was going to last. So I went on ahead and just plugged the thing up to my little Bouge RV battery. I'll go ahead and show you that. I'm gonna hook up to the Bouge RV uh, Juice Go, and I used a little car charger and plugged it in, and basically the thing was charging and good to go. Had power the rest of the day, not a problem. So definitely not a problem running this Bouge RV all day, especially if, if you have a little expansion battery, even on top of the battery that comes with it, if you're trying to do it all day long. You know, this ain't really made to run outside all day long, you know, off the smaller battery, but if you have a, a trip and you're doing something for four or five hours outside, you're definitely going to be good to go and be able to run the thing. But if you're trying to do it like 12 or 13 or 14 hours like I was doing, I brought another little additional battery and just plugged it up right into this thing. And bam, worked all day long, not a problem. So it lasted a lot longer on the fridge freezer than the four hours, the, you know, the four to 10 hours that it claims. So 
it definitely went way past that four hour mark. So if you're going on a trip and you need to use this thing for a few hours on the battery power, you're not gonna have a problem, no matter if it's on fridge, freezer, or a combo. And that day it was very, very hot. I mean, it was probably at least 90 degrees. I did try to keep the thing in the shade because of course that's just common sense. It's gonna help the thing out. But like I said, it lasted a lot longer than the four hours. So even if you're out in the sun, definitely think it's gonna last at least four hours. And if you have to, you can always plug it up to a little portable battery bank that you bring in if the building battery is not big enough. But it's probably gonna be fine as long as it's cooled off beforehand. You have it plugged into your car on the trip, the thing's gonna be cold whenever you get there or have it cold the night before before you even start your trip. And then once you get there, it just stays cold. It's gonna use a lot less power just to maintain. And basically you can control everything from the little LCD screen that's right here on the cooler. And you can change the temperatures for both zones to whatever you wanna set it at and look through all the settings and power the thing on and off. And you can go over here and look at the battery on the side and you can see what your battery power is based upon your LEDs that's on your battery. And the battery is removable. So you got your battery right here. If you wanna take the thing off, basically you're just gonna mash the buttons, slide the battery out. And that's what you're gonna have right there. And of course it's gonna turn off 15,600 milliamp hour, 173 watt hour battery. I guess the, the, the charge voltage is 12.6 volts. And basically all the thing is gonna do is slide right in here. And then it's gonna start your cooler back. As you heard it beep, so the thing, it was already cooled off, but basically that's gonna help keep it cool. So I only had it unplugged for a second. And this right here will be your solar input or you can plug in your solar if you want it. And this right here is gonna be your AC input. It's gonna have a fuse built in here. So, you know, if for some reason you have the wrong voltage or you have a problem or a short or something, you're gonna be good to go. Not gonna destroy the unit. You're gonna destroy the fuse first. And of course, right here on the side, like Bouge RV does have a lot of on their products. You know, it's gonna have your customer support email, the website, a phone number that you can call for customer support. You know, if you ever have a problem with something and it's gonna tell you the operation details, you know, and you can get further information from the manual, you know, you can get the manual online or the book manual. And if you have a problem setting your zones, you can just look through the manual and it's gonna help you walk through those. But let's go ahead and check out the inside of this thing. As you can see, it's got basically a lock and handle, so you can't just pull. You gotta pull this little handle out and this lid just comes straight up. And as you can see, unlike a lot of these uh, dual zone coolers that you saw from other, other companies, you know, the lid's not flipping this way, you know, it's flipping straight back so you can go ahead and get the end of everything just like a normal cooler would be. And we'll go ahead and show you what the inside of this thing kind of looks like. As you can see, it's got the dual zones. It comes with a basket. It comes with a basket that'll come in and out. It comes with a divider. As you can see, you can take this thing in and out as well. If you don't want to use the whole thing as a fridge and you don't want that divider in there. And that's basically what the inside looks like. You know, you got a, a, a deep side and a more shallow part. And that's probably where everything, the compressor and everything for this unit is that's running it. You know, and then this side over here is just all, the, the whole side is deep on that. And then that deep part, and it's a little more shallow. But it, like I said, it holds 76 cans in this thing. And you have built-in lights over here on the side. I do like that. So you have that on both sides. So you'll be able to see inside this thing. And you do have a drain. So, you know, if you need to drain it out, something spills in here and you need to clean this thing out, you can drain it out, not a problem. And you have a built-in uh, bottle opener. If you have some bottles you need to open, it's built-in right into where the handle is. And you have some heavy-duty handles on this thing. Look at this, you know, because this thing can get very, very heavy if you have it completely full of drinks. And then the handles will snap back in place and you have one of those on both sides. And of course, all the stainless steel on this thing. And then you have the black, you know, so it definitely looks good. And I, like I said, just the Rocky 50 model. You have some spots for you some cups and cans and stuff on the top. So your stuff's not gonna slide off if you wanna place it on the top of this thing. You know, just a little LCD display on the thing. It's a little bright out here right now, so it may be hard for y'all to see it. I can see it, but on the camera, it's a lot harder to see. So, you know, one side it's got it on 39 and one's on 41 right now. So it's fridge on both sides and you can just set it wherever you want it. And you know, you got your other handle on this side that snaps right out of the way. 
And basically, Bouge RV has sent me a 20% off coupon for this thing. So let's go ahead and talk about the price. I think for this model right here is $599, and I have a 20% discount. So that's very significant, and that's good till July the 15th. That discount code is going to be Rodney with a capital R. And I'll have that linked up down in the description below. That thing's going to be good for 20% off from now until July the 15th. So if you want to jump on one of these things, any one of the models, you can get 20% off. And I guess we'll go ahead and talk about the models. Basically, it has a smaller model than this. It's a 41 quart model. Then we have a 69 quart model, an 81 quart model. And of course, the battery, which is separate that you have to buy separately. You know, so that battery is $199 if you want that option as well. Like I said, you get 20% off. So if you want to jump on it, now is definitely the time to do it. So I'll leave that linked up down in the description below. And remember, those links are going to help out the channel. They are affiliate links. And anytime you buy something through those links, it's just helping the channel out. And I'm able to buy more stuff to make more videos. And I definitely appreciate it. Hey, and if you like this kind of videos, a lot of you guys, like 80% of you guys are out there watching my videos, but you're not subscribed. But it seems like you keep coming back, watch them over and over and over. So might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And thanks for watching.